Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the M20 Greyhound with a crew of four. This is a redesign for my M20 as well. Dimensions you can see on screen now, a length of five meters. Uh, relatively kind of a small vehicle. Uh, it's rules on an armored car and the number built was in the 3700s, almost in the 3800s. Armaments include one a 50 caliber Browning uh, machine gun. Engine you can see right here, a total of 110 horsepower. Moving on over to its performance at a max speed of 89 kilometers per hour. But anyways guys, enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's here to before you're bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and building the M8 Greyhound. Now, this vehicle here was a armored car and pretty much one of the only armored cars really developed by the United States in World War II. Uh, it was equipped with a 37mm gun and a 50 cal as a secondary, followed by a coaxial 7.62mm uh, gun. Uh, so overall, uh, kind of a cool vehicle and stuff like that. You guys may have seen it. It's kind of an kind of a little bit of an iconic ish vehicle and uh, I've had one in the past before and I've had a couple designs for it but this is the uh, more recent design as you guys saw released earlier we had the M20 uh, which is uh, a pretty nice uh, variant of the uh, M8 but uh, in my opinion I like the M8 a little bit better than the M20 M20 is just cool because you can get a little bit of interior inside there but anyways uh, so this is pretty much my design for the uh, M8 uh, mainly the new design kind of revolves around having the bigger wheels and stuff like that which some of my vehicles have been starting to uh, support and kind of it gives, gives it a little bit more of a two to one uh, aspect and kind of looks a little bit better compared to my other vehicles um, so overall it's uh, really nice and it uh, looks pretty cool and let's go ahead and kind of take a look at uh, some of the design features and stuff like that and um, all that stuff so uh, really, this uh, M8 is pretty much based off of the design for the M20, or the M20 is based off the design for the M8, however you want to look at it. Uh, it's built upon the same chassis, everything like that. The only difference is that the M8 actually has a turret on it with a 37mm gun, and it also has a 7.62 coaxial gun on that turret. Um, other than that, they're very similar uh, vehicles, uh, pretty much nearly the exact same, and uh, overall just uh, just pretty cool. And I love the way the M8 Greyhound came out. It, looks really nice and I'm really happy the way it came out. Uh, looks really nice and I really like the M20 as well. Uh, but you can see just some uh, nice detailing and stuff like that all the way around it. Some back fence, brake lights, all that stuff. The uh, turret itself, pretty nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way the shape is of it. It's uh, fairly decent for what I have really to work with. And um, overall it's just a really nice looking vehicle and uh, definitely will look good in uh, any scenarios you guys are making with the United States vehicles. We got plenty of United States vehicles so this is just another cool vehicle to go and kind of throw into uh, our arsenal. But uh, anyways guys that's going to be uh, pretty much it for, it for the overview of this uh, vehicle and with further, without further ado let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. Now for layer 1, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start by taking our nether brick stairs, placing down an upside down stair, just like this, followed by a upside down stair on the back, right like this. Now this is going to be the right front wheel we just created, uh, well, pretty much the first half of the right front wheel. So if you guys are looking at this, uh, kind of a, that perspective, you guys can kind of figure out a place to put this all in. Now coming off of this nether brick, upside down stair, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3. Stone brick top steps, and then after that, we're gonna place down a narrow brick upside down stair, followed by a narrow brick upside down stair off the back of that stair. So you get your premature right front and your left front wheels just like that. After you guys have that done, we're gonna go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, and five stone brick top steps. Now, your fifth stone brick top step, we're gonna go ahead and go out to the side one stone brick top step like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down a narrow brick upside down stair with its back facing toward the front, and then an upside down stair like that coming off of it. Same thing over here on this side. Just like that, and this is going to create your first kind of uh, wheels right here that are located on the back. So you have your front wheels with the axle. You have your two wheels right here that are pretty much your middle wheels with their axle. And we can go ahead and continue on. So once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two more stone brick top steps, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and again do the same thing we did uh, right here. Place down three stone brick top steps across right here with a narrow brick up down stair. And then one on the back of it, just like that. Same thing over here on this side. Just like that. And like that on your side so you get something that kind of looks like that for the base of it and uh of course if you guys want to go ahead and throw on a trailer hitch and have this thing towing something you can always go ahead and place down a stone brick top step come out the back just like that to go ahead and uh, give you a look that looks something like that and uh that guy's right there's pretty much it for uh your uh, first layer pretty simple stuff just trying to get started with the base and the skeleton of the vehicle and uh with that we can go ahead and move on to our next layer layer two all right guys so going ahead and moving on to our uh, next layer we have layer two now for layer two, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the wheels up in the front up here. 
we're just going to go ahead and place down uh, two nether brick stairs back to back on top of the two nether brick stairs that are upside down and back to back. Just like that to go ahead and pretty much complete this wheel shape that you guys can see right here. Now after you guys have that all done, we're going to go ahead and go in between these uh, dark oak or these uh, nether brick stairs and place down two rows of three of green stink by full blocks. Now one thing quickly I want to go ahead and point out is that you guys could turn these upside down stairs into wheels as well. Just like this. Um, but uh, that's partially uh, okay what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and copying uh, this design over there for the tutorial so if you guys want to have the wheels exposed on this vehicle then you're just going to go and leave out those green stankway full blocks and the snow block that we're going to be placing down later on and you're just going to have our uh, basically our stairs in place here and again it, it doesn't really matter honestly some versions of the emmy greyhound had the skirts on the side some of the them didn't so it's just kind of up to you whatever you guys want to use there but we're going to be going ahead and copying the same design we have over there uh, just to kind of keep these two looking the same now, uh, after we have that all done, we're going to go and take our dark oak wood stairs, place down a row of three across the front like that, followed by a wooden trap door coming off the stair like that on your side. And this could be later on used to put a carpet on top of, and uh, till then we're just going to kind of leave it alone. Now, coming back to this section here, we're going to place down three rows of three of green stainquay full blocks, just like that to kind of fill that space in. We're then going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair like this, followed by two upside down stairs like so. So we have a corner stair and then two stairs like this going over here we're going to go and do the same thing uh, just like that so you have something that kind of looks like that now one thing we also want to do on the side here coming off these stairs is we're going to go and place down three wooden trap wooden uh see dark oak wood uh fence gates so we're going to open up the ones on the sides here and leave the one closed in the center uh just like that to kind of add like a little bit of a rack on the side here same thing over here on this side just like that now when you get to this back section here uh we're going to place down two rows of five of green stain clay full blocks all the way across again if you guys have your these uh, full block, you know, these tires fully exposed. Uh, you're gonna have two stairs right here in the place of these green stinkway full blocks. Now going ahead and go into our next section here. We're gonna go ahead and place down three green stinkway full blocks in the center here. And if you want to make this a uh, U.S. version of the uh, M8, which this is pretty much the U.S. version of it, uh, we're gonna place down a snow block like this on your side to show the army insignia. Again, if this is gonna be a British one or whatever, you guys are definitely not gonna want to put the army star on it. Uh, but that's just kind of a heads up there. Now on top of this narrow brick stair back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a green snakeway full block on your side. In between the uh, green snakeway full blocks, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished andesite full block. So we're just going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three across. Again, if you guys want to go ahead and put a uh, army and star, you can go ahead and put down one like that on the back. Uh, and uh, just add a little bit more to it. And then we're just going to take our uh, ladders, place down a row of three across. Uh, these polished andesite blocks, the polished andesite blocks, and the snow block. Just like that. Now the green stankway blocks on the sides here, we're going to go and take signs, wrap it around like that, and then place down two on these green stankway blocks on the sides here. Same thing over here. Just like that. And uh, pretty much once you have that all finished, that's uh, it for your uh, second layer. As you can see, the shape of it's starting to come together. And uh, with that, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer three. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we're going to be going ahead and uh, basically building up layer three. Now for layer 3 what we want to do to start off with is we're going to place down a quartz uh, half slab in the very center on this row 3 of dark oak wood upside stairs. Again, if this is a British one you're not going to be placing this. Uh, then we need to go ahead and actually grab ourselves a, uh, let's see we're actually going to need to grab ourselves a dark oak wood half slab we're going to place on down on your side of this uh, quartz half slab. Now coming off these uh, two dark oak wood half slabs we're going to place down two item frames like this. And then grabbing some uh, glass blocks uh, which we'll go ahead and grab here we're going to go ahead and place down uh, two glass blocks in the item frames like that just to add a little bit more uh, detail and kind of show the headlights there in the very front. Then we're going to go and take a um, green carpet and just place it down on top of that wooden trap door that we placed in the previous layer just like that. When you get to this point right here we're going to go ahead and take our uh, dark oak wood stairs place down one on top of these snare brick stairs like that on your side. Then next to the stair we're going to place down a dark oak wood half slab and then in the very center of the vehicle we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair so you have something that looks like that in the very front. After you guys have that done, from the back of the stair here, we're going to place down one, two, and three stairs back. And then we're going to place down a corner stair, like so. Same thing over here. One, one, two, three stairs back, and then a narrow corner stair. So you guys can see we have a corner stair up here, three regular stairs, and then a narrow corner stair back here, just like that. We also want to go ahead and go to our second uh, regular stair right here. And we're going to place down a row of three of green stink weight full blocks in between them, just like that. Now going back here to uh, this section, we have... Uh, to go ahead and place down a row of five of green stankway full blocks all the way across. We're going to go ahead and then place down a second row of five, followed by a third row of five, 
And then we want to go ahead and go to the center here, place down three polished nanosite full blocks, followed by a dark oak wood stair like that on either side. After you guys go ahead and finish that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of uh, three of um, ladders, just like that. And then we're going to place down another item frame like this coming off the two stairs, and we're going to grab ourselves a red stained glass block, place it down in the item frame, just like that. And uh, once you guys do, you're going to have premature brake lights in the back design and all that stuff. Now one thing real quick that I want to go and throw in, um, it's kind of an optional thing. I did this on my uh, M M20 actually as well. Uh, basically I went ahead and just put these uh, tools on the side here. So for this you can just place down two item frames and uh, we can go ahead and place down a shovel, rotate it around like this, and then we can place down an axe as well, uh, just like that to kind of add a little bit of detail, kind of show there's tools or something strapped onto the side. It's uh, not that big of a detail, but I mean it's just something to kind of add on I guess if you guys want to. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for our uh, third layer, and with that we'll go ahead and move on to layer 4. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer 4. Now for layer 4, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak with half sabs. We're going to go ahead and go to in between these stairs here, and just place down a row of three of dark oak with half sabs on top, just like that, to kind of form up the front. After you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to place down a green stain clay block, coming off the middle half sab, going toward the back, like so. Now once you have this in place, we're going to place down a snow block, that kind of comes off that green snake wood block at an angle going off of it to uh, pretty much either side here. And I broke that uh, sand block there, so let me go ahead and fix that and grab back, black my, back my iron bars. Now, of course, if you guys are having the bridge version, we're not going to be placing snow. You're just going to place down green snake by full blocks. And then we're just going to place down an air green snake by full block. So you have something that looks like that on the sides. Now, on the back here, we're going to place down two dark liquid stairs like this. And then a green snake wood block in the middle in between the stairs. We're then going to go ahead and take a button, place it down on the side of this green stain clay block. And also we want to go ahead and take some uh, dark oak wood fence posts, or fence gates actually, and place down two like this on the sides and have them open up like so. Now on the back here for this back section, we're going to go ahead and take iron bars. We're going to place down one like this on your side. We then want to go ahead and take uh, stone buttons, place down a stone button like that on your side. And then we're going to go ahead and then take dark oak wood half subs, place down one and two, and then one and two right here. And then in the, between this dark oak with half size, we're going to place down two green uh, carpets, just like that. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's pretty much it for your uh, fourth layer. Pretty simple stuff. And uh, with that, we'll go ahead and move on to layer five. All right, guys, so moving on to layer five. Now, for layer five, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and very much be building the top of the turret. And uh, that's pretty much mostly what this layer is pretty much revolved around. So to get started here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green stained clay block. We're then going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three dark oak with half subs coming off of it for the main for the barrel of the uh, main gun, which is a 37 millimeter. Then uh, coming off at an angle from this on top of the snow blocks, we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs like this, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair like that on either side. And then on top of this green stain clay block here, we're just going to place down a dark oak wood stair like so. And in between these two stairs, we're going to place down a green stain clay full block. So this is kind of the opening, or will be the opening right here. And you have your uh, green stain clay full block and everything, which our gun will be resting on and uh, all that stuff. So that's pretty much the turret right there. And uh, we also want to go ahead and go up to the front of the turret here. On the left side of basically the mantle, we're going to place down a uh, zombie head like that for the sights of the gun. And we're also going to place down a dark oak with a uh, fence gate on the, on the right side here to represent the coaxial. Now, uh, once you uh, have that all complete, we're going to go ahead and go to the iron bars here. Place down one more iron bar on top of uh, this one so you have a total of two iron bars going up at the moment and uh, pretty much once you guys have that all done that's it for your uh, fifth layer and with that we can go ahead and move on to our last final layers which will be layers six and seven all right guys so going ahead and move on to layer six and seven uh, for these layers what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off uh, by going to the top up here now up on the top of the turret we're going to place down a uh, anvil just like this followed by two dark oak wood fence gates coming off of it just like that for basically the first part here the 50 cal now coming off the side of the anvil to the, to the left side, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood top stab, just like that. And over here to the right side of it, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign. And we're going to place down a sign on the side here where we actually need to crouch. And then we can place down the sign just like that. And then coming off the back here of the anvil, we're going to go ahead and place down a placer block, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to be opened up like that on the back of it, just to go ahead and kind of square the whole gun away. And a green carpet on top of this dark oak wood top stab. Now for the gun ring around it, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, half stab on top of this corner stair. Same thing over here, and on top of this stair, a dark oak wood half stab, just like that. After we have that all squared away, we're going to go ahead and take our iron bars, and we're just going to place down two more on top of the two iron bars you've already placed down. So again, 
two more going up like that on the iron bars just like that to go and finish the antennas off and uh, once you guys have that complete that's pretty much it for the m8 greyhound uh, very cool uh, design came out really well and will definitely go good with any kind of convoys or any kind of uh, scenarios you guys are making it's a very nice addition to our world war ii american arsenal that's for sure uh, but anyways guys uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys do not use this design i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this media thing from a sign on the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow, and it helps me continue to produce these uh, tutorials. Um, other than that, be sure to suggest what World War II vehicles you guys would like to see next time, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2 and I'll see you guys next time.